Hi there, this is Conscious Flow, I'm Leon. This channel is about helping you see your stuttering as a positive force and learn from it and to see it as a teacher rather than an enemy. In previous videos I've been talking a bit about basic mindsets that I adopted toward my stuttering like compassion and trust and today I would like to talk about the actual physical symptom of stuttering and how I'm coping with it while I speak. So I want to start by giving you a little background on things that I've tried, things that didn't work and then things that worked. So. I've been through many different types of stuttering therapy, including Van Riper stuttering modification and fluency shaping. These um, provide you with um, strategies to, to come out of stuttering or with ways to, to induce speech flow, basically. So unfortunately these things haven't been working for me. Um, I've also always been trying in my head to, to figure out the stuttering because I knew deep inside that there is a solution to it. Because every time I've been alone and I spoke just to myself or to an animal I just didn't stutter at all, so I knew that my body can basically do it. It's just that, that my, my thinking mind somehow gets in the way and blocks my speech. So I was always looking for this internal switch, the switch that sets um, my speech from stuttering to fluency. I couldn't find that, that switch in my head and I stopped trying to, to search for it on the level of thoughts. But um, there is something to be learned from these situations of spontaneous fluency, like um, speaking alone. Um, because have you noticed that Whenever you speak alone, you can speak fluently without any effort whatsoever. You do not need, need to control anything. You do not need to find any strategy to get out of the stuttering. You're not scared and you, you just know that you can do it. And what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm working with this and I'm trying to, to extend this to speaking situations with other people. So what this means, more concretely, is that um, I focus my, my mind while I speak to somebody on my body. I just feel into my body and specifically into the area where I can feel the block. This may often be in the larynx or sometimes it's in the diaphragm area. Sometimes I feel a pressure in my head or the, the jaw is blocked, the tongue or the lips. It, it can be anywhere. It can change from, from situation to situation. But any time I stutter, I can, I can feel some sort of pressure somewhere in the body. And by feeling into this and relaxing into this tension, I've made a lot of progress with my actual stuttering fluency. So on the level of the body, what I do is I just feel into the tension and I stay present with it if I can. Of course, I can't always do it. It's, um, it takes practice to 
to do it more and more often but this seems to be the only thing that that really works long term and on the level of the mind i i do not try to to control the thoughts or to make them go away all i really do is is observe the mind while i speak there will be be thoughts like oh, you have to push against this or let us switch this word for that other word that will be easier or let's just stop speaking all together now and run away or whatever there's there's a million ways that the mind is is trying to fight the stuttering because if there's this fear of stuttering there will be fight flight or freeze responses right so um, with the physical symptom you can fight by just pushing against it or you can flight by exchanging words a split second before you um, before you say them and just just distract your mind and somehow somehow weasel your way out which sometimes works short term but it's obviously not a solution and sometimes there can be silent blocks where you just just don't get anything out like that's that's the the freeze mode of the mind um so these things i just try to observe and not identify with them so simply staying present with the mind and feeling into the body this is something that um that requires absolutely no no planning or no strategy it's, it's simply it's simply being present with what happens um with any strategy that i came up with um i always thought them through a million times in my head and can i tweak this or that a little bit and change that around so that it'll really work and <laughs> it 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 never did it it always backfired and it it caused me a lot of pain to try and come up with something that i can do every time i stutter so now really all i do when i um when i know that i'm going to speak soon is i don't do anything <laughs> and then when i start speaking i simply stay present with whatever happens in my larynx and mouth and diaphragm and i feel into the the blocks if they arise and this like i said this can be very um different um body areas so there's no way for me to 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 predict where i'm going to feel it next there is no way to plan it i don't know how many symptoms will come i just trust that it's going to be okay and I'm strong enough to be with this. So um in terms of progress um this doesn't immediately result in um in fluent speech. Like it took me a long time until it actually um even improved my speech fluency. In fact, at first it made it worse because i was super self conscious and um i was i was putting all my attention on the stuttering and not really on the content of what i said and it caused a l- l- lot of stress and brought up old traumas from the past all that stuff but eventually it it became much easier with um certain people and with a couple people in my family and friends 
on a good day I can just just feel into my speech and um, I speak completely fluently without much effort. It often still is a lot of effort to to really feel everything because there can be a lot of emotions that are somewhere stuck in the body, a lot of mental processes going on simultaneously, but it does get easier over time to simply be present with it and to trust that you do not need any strategy to get through this. You do not need to plan something like well, if a word starts on an M and then there's, there's an A afterwards, I do this and that technique to, to make the transition work. If a word starts with a vowel, I'll do this instead. No. I've tried all of these things and they, they didn't work for me. If they work for you, that's great. Please, um, please stop this video, don't watch it. <laughs> um, but if it doesn't work for you, I'd like to, to encourage you to, to simply feel what's going on and to trust that your stuttering is actually trying to, to point you to, to something deeper within you. Maybe there's, there's some, some trauma that you've repressed, maybe there are some, some emotions stuck within you that you need to feel and the stuttering wants to point you there. So obviously by, by stopping the fight against the stuttering you'll get more and more to the underlying things that the stuttering wants to show you. For me this was um, a lot of childhood um, stuff that came up, some, some trauma, some pain, this and that. And these were, were quite uncomfortable things to feel. Um, but it's been, been good long term to really feel these things. Because after I felt them, uh, they were just gone. There's still more. My my stuttering is still still there, um, but I'm 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 getting to it more and more to the things that it wants to show me. In this sense, stuttering is not like like broken leg or some other just just random impediment that messes with you. Something that just needs to be repaired ASAP. No questions asked. Stuttering is, is deeper and um, it can really, really help you to heal deep emotional issues. And if you want to do that, you can, you can use your stuttering as an, as an entry point for, for deeper healing. I'm going to, to talk about um, the physical aspects of this in other videos, for example, um, how I used um, yoga to, to get to, to physical blockages all over the body, really. Things in the larynx, diaphragm, in the speech center, in the brain, um, the lips, and the belly, the feet. Really, it's, it's, um, stuttering can manifest in, in all sorts of different body areas and alleviating the tension there can help alleviate the symptom. So, so stuttering can lead you to all these things that are somehow stuck in your body, all sorts of repressed emotions. And if this sounds like something that you want to try, um, please watch my other videos and subscribe to my channel. For now, um, thanks for watching and hopefully see you soon. Bye!